Primitive Communism and Egalitarian Society So what is Primitive Communism? Primitive Communism is a way of describing the gift economies of hunters gatherers throughout history where resources and property hunted and gathered are shared with all members of a group in accordance with individual needs while egalitarian societies all individuals are born equal and all members of society are said to have a right to equal opportunities definition of primitive communism primitive communism refers to the collective right to basic resources the absence of hereditary status or authoritarian rule and the egalitarian relationships that preceded exploitation and economic stratification in human history origin of social communism in political and social sciences communism from the latin word communis which means common universal is a philosophical social political and economic ideology and movement whose ultimate goal is the establishment of the communist society which is a socio-economic order structured upon the common ownership of the means of production and the absence of social classes and money and the state communism is a political system that comes from the latin meaning common based on the collective ownership of the production of goods communism rejects individual ownership of industry and promotes the manufacture of goods in order to satisfy the basic needs of the economy and the people history of primitive communism Karl Marx and Engels were inspired by Lewis Henry Morgan's description of communism in living that characterized the Iroquois nation of North America. The speculative evolutionary history by Lewis highlighted the liberty and equal among the Asian people that was evident in the family setting of the Iroquois nation. Engels transformed this idea into an evolutionary theory with a publication, The Origin of the Family, in 1884. He argued that transition from the traditional modes of production to subsequent production evolved a change of production for domestic or family use to production for sale or exchange and a transformation from communal family relations to an individual family as the main economic unit. Marx and Engels expanded the use of communism to include not only hunters and gatherers but, but also subsistence agricultural communist communities. Characteristic of primitive communism full democracy this is because about all the members of the society had to make decision to arrive at the solution regardless of their sexes next is lack of specialization this is because all people in the society are supposed to do all jobs together jobs include tool making gathering fruits preparing shelter and hunting Next is absence of exploitation. The communal societies had has neither exploiters or exploited. Shifting cultivation. Primitive economic organizations were of the subs- subsistence type. That is they fall into the broad category of production, consumption of economics. One important reason for this is the absence of technological aids in their attempts to exploit nature, as is illustrated by shifting cultivation. Shifting cultivation means that the same plots of land are not cultivated for long, and that cultivators move from one plot to another. 
the reasons for doing are so the reasons for doing so are understandable. The decreasing yield of land as a result of continuous cultivation can be counteracted through proper maturing, but maturing represents a rather advanced scientific level of cultivation. Next is hunting and gathering. Hunting gathering societies hunt animals and gather plants as their means of survival. Hunter gatherers move about a great deal in search of food, but they cover only a small area because their food sources are so limited. Usually men were hunting and women were gathering. Next is no economic surplus. All production was for keeping members of the societies alive on daily basis. Next is low level of development. Low level of development. This is because there was no surplus. No private ownership. No private ownership of means of production. This means that the means of production such as land, tools, and weapons belong to the community. Shared property. There is no concept of ownership beyond the individual possessions. The tribe shares everything in order to ensure its survival. The evolution of primitive communism. The rise of of social class society has changed the human history the communal way of organizing society have changed since humans have moved from a society of equality and communal living to one characterized by oppression and exploitation the agricultural revolutions around the world have transformed most hunter-gatherers to farmers. The need for a political structure to advance the affairs of the communities has brought about significant changes to communal leadership and decision-making. Marxist theory of primitive communism. Marx's initial drive to create the basic tenets of communism began in the middle of the 19th century as he observed the existing capitalist system being as a tool by the bourgeoisie to enslave the working class or proletariat. He believed that the capitalism was an antiquated system that fed on the working class and increased the gap between rich and poor. Capitalism in Marx's eyes contributed to the degra degradation of society and needed to be replaced. Primitive communism was a concept put forward by Karl Marx. He proposed that the traditional hunters and gatherers were based on the egalitarian social relations and common ownership. The first stage, this is usually called primitive communism. It has the following characteristic. The primitive communism stage most likely begins soon after the dawn of humanity itself. At the stage where fire is developed and communal living therefore becomes more convenient, prim primitive communist societies tend to be very small, consisting of a maximum of a few hundred members with size being dependent upon the environment in this stage. Humanity does not differ from any other animal group in that it has not yet found ways to bend nature to its will. The ancient communal and state ownership which proceeds especially from the union of several tribes 
So the ancient communal and state ownership which proceeds especially from the union of several tribes into a city by agreement or by conquest. During this stage, the concept of private property begins to develop. With the development of private property, we find here for the first time the same conditions which will we shall find again only on a more extensive scale with modern private property on the one hand the concentration of private property on the other hand coupled with this the transformation of the plebeian small peasantry into a proletariat So his well-known tome, The Communist Manifesto, published in 1848 and written with Friedrich Engels, sought to outline the basic faults of capitalism and educate readers on the principles of communism. Marx's solution to the perceived problem of a free market society, the manifesto contained 10 steps known as the ten planks were intended as a test to determine if a society had successfully become a communist state the manuscript led to the banishment of marx his wife and children from both germany and france and he lived the remainder of his years in london beginning in 1849 this stage ends with the development of private property especially with the development of large-scale agriculture this in turn produce productive property such as cattle and slaves so in social class in communism the members of the communist party are supposed to make the working class realize that the capitalists exploit them and give them to revolt members of the communist party have to convince the people to form the ideal communist state and have to fight against the capitalist with all possible means marx and lenin knew that the ideal state couldn't be created in one day for some time, the Communist Party would have to rule the state to subdue the last capitalist resistance, to re-educate the people and to convince them to become useful members of society. This gives the Communist Party to absolute power in communist countries and like Acton said, power tends to corrupt. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. So according to communist theory, there are two main social classes. First, there is the working class, cons consisting of the workmen and laborers who are exploited by their capitalist bosses. Then there is the bourgeoisie, the capitalist. They just profit from the work of their employees and are seen as the enemies of the working class. They should be extinguished or educated. In the ideal communist society, there are no classes anymore. Everybody works not for the money but to be a useful member of society. So next is perceived benefits of communism. 1. Theoretically, a communist society promotes the equality of all people. Classes do not exist in a communist system and therefore all citizens are equal. This eliminates the class struggle that Marx believe caused numerous conflicts including the shortage and war 
Two, communist ideology seeks to eliminate child child labor and encourage education for everyone. Each child is entitled to an education under communist principles. Three, communism supports a lack of competition which originates within its beliefs in equality for everyone. Number four, while communism does not support private industry, it does support the role of the worker. Under the communist system, every member of society is given a job. The government owns all production and can therefore employ each member of society. In a capitalist economy, employment ebbs and flows. Lack of employment can lead to poverty, lowered self-esteem, and substance abuse. In a communist system, all citizens are provided work. Definition of Egalitarian Society An egalitarian society is one uh, in which there are as many positions of prestige in any given age, sex, and grade. There are persons capable of filling them. Origin of Egalitarian Society Egalitarianism from French egal meaning equal or equalitarianism is a school of thought that prioritizes the equality for all people according to the stanford encyclopedia of philosophy egalitarian doctrines maintain that all humans are equal in fundamental worth or social status according to the merriam webster dictionary the term has two distinct definition in modern English. Either as a political doctrine that all people should be treated as equals and have the same political, economic, social, and civil rights, or as a social philosophy advocating the removal of economic inequalities among people, economic egalitarianism or the decentralization of power. Some sources define egalitarianism as the point of view that equality reflects the natural state of humanity. So next is economic feature in egalitarian society. Pastoralism refers to owning domesticated animals for production, transportation, or slaughter, as well as successfully stealing horses and maintaining a herd of livestock. Next is generosity, refers to displaying kindness through throwing feast, giving gift, self-search, depreciation, disturbing resources, or property among the group and providing voluntary assistance in economic activities. Next is technology. Technology refers to demonstrating a prophecy in specialized manufacturing of so of tools or functional products such as arrows crafted tools or canoes or etc as well as displaying superior me- mechanical skills so next is hunting hunting refers to demonstrated competence in hunting by reliably providing protein from wild game for distribution next is exchange refers to maintaining exchange relationships with gen friends or ally allies formal gift giving between families during visits and maintaining that stored through 
property loans and success in trading. Next is wealth, refers to culturally specific luxury good, such as rare or liquidable assets through travel or trade. Owning a high quality dwelling, owning symbolically or economically value items or slave ownership. And lastly is horticulture, refers to success in growing food, producing surpluses of staple crops, consistently yielding good harvest, Profes proficiency in gathering wild plant foods, skill in tree filling, and skill in tree felling, and maintaining productivity and cultivation. And next is political feature in egalitarian society. Geographic knowledge refers to knowing the homeland well, being able to predict or identify resources, traveling to foreign land, pioneering new territory, possessing knowledge of the outside world, traveling in dangerous, life-threatening conditions successfully, the ability to influence outsider for group interest and maintaining or establishing intergroup political relations. Next is kinship marriage refers to maintaining can alliances, the ability to influence and organize distant can and supporting extend can in single household marriage for can alliance. Maintaining marriages in the interest of kin group, having many wives or dependent and marriage exchange. Next is oratory skill, refers to being able to organize a large group of individuals under a common goal, ability to clearly and eloquently communicate to a crowd. Next is dispute settlement, refers to the ability to resolve conflicts including miming and comedy to displace tension, mediating fair discourse between individual or having this demonstrated successful in group or out group relations. Next and lastly is welfare refers to being a natural leader in battle, displaying courage on the battlefield, having successfully killed enemies, demonstrating a willingness to go to war and returning alive. Next is ritual feature of egalitarian society. First is augury, refers to being able to predict events or catastrophes, the ability to interpret dreams and the foreseeing the future and foreseeing success. Next is shamanism, refers to successfully healing deceased individuals, possessions of natural spirit, Possessions of supernatural spirits, application of medicinal plants or magical surgical techniques, the use and application of magic for healing purposes, or manipulation of spirit world. Lastly is ceremony, refers to displaying ritual leadership or experience, completion of in initiating ceremonies associated with puberty of age set requirements, completion of cultural ceremonies related to the situation or needs, membership in elite or secret societies, or the ability to transfer ritual or ceremonial knowledge. Next is personality feature of egalitarian society. Self-control 
refers to maintaining reservation and control through tense situation not displacing anger taking a peaceful approach to many situation and actively avoiding conflict next next is aggressiveness refers to the ability to express opinion ideals vehemently when necessary being able to express discontent without reservation being forceful in aggressiveness with others and gaining respect through aggressiveness displays and lastly is intelligence to being quick witted and able to make good decision on the spot being knowledgeable on a variety of subjects and displaying contextual knowledge or educational knowledge and lastly modern egalitarianism theory modern egalitarianism is a theory that rejects the classic definition of egalitarianism egalitarianism as a possible achievement economically politically and socially modern egalitarianism theory or new egalitarianism outlines that if everyone had the same opportunity cost then there would be no comparative advances and no one would gain from trading with each other in essence the the immense gains people receive from trading with each other arise because they are unequal in characteristics and talents. These differences may be innate or developed so that people can gain from trading with each other. So therefore, in conclusion, the speculative evolutionary history by Lewis highlighted the liber liberty and equality among the Asian people that was evident in the family setting of the Iroquois nation. Marx and Eng Engels expanded the use of communism to include not only hunters and gatherers but also subs subsistence agricultural economic communities. One important reason for this is the absence of theological aids in their attempts to exploit nature as is illustrated by shifting cultivation. So, the communal ways of organizing society have since changed. The agricultural revolutions around the world have transformed most hunter-gatherers to farmers. And capitalism in Marx's eyes contributed to the degradation of societies and needed to be replaced. Theoretically, a uh, Communist society promotes the equality of all people. Communist ideology seeks to eliminate child labor and encourage education for everyone. Each child is entitled to an education under communist principles. Communism supports a lack of competition which originate within within its belief in equality for everyone under the communist system every member of society is given a job lack of employment can leave lead to poverty lowered self-esteem and substance abuse that's all for my report thank you and god bless